Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play X4. So we are back and we're just gonna undock here again. So, um... All set? Oh. Then let's pay the outpost another visit and see what mission command has in store for us. There we go, so we're going back to the outpost again. So, uh, last time we went to the uh, Jetsu something, Sumi, Fumi, whatever place here. Um, and uh, the Xenon attacked and uh, we, we, we defended and protected it. And uh, I got some good drops and some good credits from doing that. So uh, we upgraded our ship. We got uh, it's a little faster. It maneuvers a bit better and uh, better weapons, better shields. Basically a bit better of everything. So uh, that's pretty exciting. So we're going to just head back there now. And uh, yeah, we'll be back here in a sec. Well then, recruits. We As boom. a reward for your commitment, let me paint you a bigger picture. Oh, eat your shields. may not like it, but if we continue to face the Xenon head on, Scouring the network with imposing fleets, heroically putting out fires wherever they flare up. We are bound to lose this war. Do <laughs> not misunderstand. The Intervention Corps is indispensable, both as long arm of the Protectorate and winged savior alike. However, this eternal meat grinder of clashing fleets cannot be a permanent solution. To truly beat the Xenon in a war of attrition, it is paramount that we instead thwart their infrastructure wherever possible. Those parasites are lurking at the edges of our sectors, avoiding our defenses and ciphering off our resources. I am putting you on scouting duty. Report any sightings of Xenon infrastructure units directly to me. Okay. Unknown. Yeah, she does have a very good point. Which gives me an idea. See, the Xenon might appear as an unstoppable and unknowable force at first glance, but the way they wage war isn't so different from us. Like us, they rely on their scouts to gauge their enemy's strength and send an appropriate force to deal with them. But unlike us, they're simple-minded machines. It's all action-reaction. So if we attack a scout somewhere in uh, no man's space, we can divert their forces, potentially leaving their infrastructure units unprotected. Apologies. I just happen to be still listening in. You may go ahead with your plan, but be warned. The Xenon are not just simple machines. They're erratic, unpredictable, deadly. Stay alert at all times. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Oh, we're going to deploy a satellite, apparently. a nice spot for our operation. Not too far from the outpost, but still close enough to the Xenon-infested outskirts of the sector. A satellite might serve as bait and help us spot incoming scouts at a distance. There we go. There we go. So satellite and target area. So we're gonna do that. We bought some more satellites last time too, so we have them. You've already seen how fast these things are. As soon as one appears, try to shoot it out of travel drive. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh. T. There it is. It's coming right at me, huh? There. I'm guessing it's scripted to just happen. Nope. Never mind. Oh, it's coming back for me, apparently. Guess it didn't matter. It was coming back for revenge. Damn it. Oh, is it whipping back and forth? Oh my goodness, I think it is. Ah, fast <laughs> I really hope it's still reported us as a threat. Unknown. I guess we missed them. Oh, here they come. Not a second too soon. Let's hurry past them before their stupid machine brains have time to react. Oh, these fools don't even realize they're pointing us right at our target. Um, I hope they don't shoot us. We're, we'll be dead pretty fast. Where are we going anyway? It's over here apparently. Nope. This does not seem safe. We're supposed to do some infrastructure units, but I'm not quite sure what we're... S. Oh. Empty space. Oh, it's probably these things. The uh, S-ships, maybe. 
S. Oh, we're supposed to take them out, I think. Infrastructure. Oh, okay. <laughs> and undefended. Oh, wow, we just went through an asteroid. Thankfully, we're alive, but that could have been bad. Okay. So these guys, we have to just take them out. This is going to hurt, I bet. Let's get a little closer before we fire on them. Like sitting ducks. Hide under their bellies. That way their turrets can't hit you. Yeah, but they maneuver in a way so they, they can hit me. They're actually really good at their maneuvering. Yeah. There we go. And then we'll put that other guy here. Oh, here he is. So I'm wondering if we should get a little closer first, because if we uh, start shooting him now, then the turrets are going to really take us out. Oh, looks like he's almost ready to do that. I wonder if they shoot first or no. I wonder if that's just for this or that's how they usually react. Signal source triangulated. Another Nav one. It's yeah. that same signal as before. They're not getting away this time. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're trying to chase down the source. There it is. Terran probably mounting a defense in Getsu Foon. Yeah. So that was a news update, which makes sense. I mean, that's Kurao what they're doing. Kami. Yaki something. Empty space. Okay. What is happening with this? Nav beacon. So we can tab into it. We're so close to the gate, I just don't want to be getting in off guard here. Um, I think we're about to get Orea, busted Orea. right through. I think we're just supposed to run here instead of stay around. Eek, goodbye. Jump gate. <laughs> Apparently we're going through the gate. Spur. It's like, I don't think I'll hang around here. Entering system. Savage spur. Oh, this is Xenon Space. They talked Four about beacons. this, actually. And they form a trail. Onward. I'm right behind you. Okay. I'm right behind you. No, you're not. Right behind you. <laughs> right behind you. What the hell? <laughs> um. What was that about? Obelisk. Obelisk. What are you doing? My multi stinking breath. Leave them in peace. Never! This is where their meddling ends! This is where it all ends! I watched you and your puppets cower in fear long enough! Oh my. No! Stop right this instant! You know what it's already done to you! Curse you, Kendai! Or like the you Yaki turning into Borg or something? Any oh damn. S. Ow. P. Enemy movement. All squads, return to base immediately. The entire sector is descending on us. Uh, what's happening? Uh oh. 
We did bad, apparently. Okay. Well, this is Xenon Space. Dangerous place. Let's just keep it at that. Jump gate. Get Sofune. I'm not even sure what's happening, though. This is a very bad place to have a yak, yak raiding party, huh? What is up happening to our little friend there? He he disappeared. I guess he's a goner now. Looks like everyone's heading towards the gate, or at least <laughs> the other guys were. Takes us a while to get there, though. Hopefully, uh, we won't lose our station or something. I I guessing there's another attack happening. Which one's that? The P. So that was the bigger sized one. Okay. So that's one of their 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 facilities. They have very little facilities, to be fair. I can't believe the Terrans are actually fighting them. <laughs> Holy crap! Entering system. Get Sofune. Okay, so this is uh Recruit. cool. Where on earth have you been? And where is your squad mate? Well, I have no clue. Wait. Capture tutorial. That means there's something uh oh, there must be a ship that I can take. We're gonna have to look that up then. Container. Usually when that happens, that means uh, there's a ship that you can, uh... You we'll have to figure that out then. So what what can I capture here? Do I even see anything that's capturable? I don't see anything here at all that you can capture, to be fair. We were definitely gonna go grab those though. Now we know how valuable they are. Container. So, anyways, there you have the ability to capture ships. You can actually pod, uh, or not pod people, but uh, you can force them out in attack. Uh, then there's other ways that, uh, for example, um, holy crap, that's a K. Hopefully, he doesn't care about me because I want loot. One shot of that K, and we're game over. By the way, just saying. I'm gonna hope he just doesn't see me because I want the loot here. Holy crap. They're everywhere, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, damage singularity one. That's worth a lot. Let's get that. Container. Basically, we're just going around getting some free loot here first. It really is worth it. It's silly not to right at this point. I wish I could see this uh, the ship. It sounded like there was a ship you can take, but I, there, there obviously isn't one that I could see, so. Okay. So that must be heading Defense towards our platform. our base here. So hopefully we can figure out what we can do about that. Oh, I'm going there for next. Oh, it disappeared. Why did it disappear? I guess it was taken out. Was that one of the ones that we were doing originally there? I did, we didn't fight anything, did we? Or no, we attempted to shoot something, but it didn't actually happen. <laughs> All good. Let me do something quickly. Okay, so that's a little misleading. I couldn't even see that ship, but there you go. If you uh, stop the guidance on this ship, it was showing up on the map, and it shows up here as well. It's bailed out, but I didn't realize it. So I guess this menu, like it, it kind of, it's white, but it blends so bloody well in with debris at the time that I did not see it. So that is that was the issue, obviously, there. So what we can do is hopefully take this ship as our own. Now the only downside is I don't have actual marines, so when we take it, I have to do it myself. I believe you can send a crew over once you've taken it, though. What was on there, though? Is there something else available? Oh, there's something Gladius. else there. Oh, it shows up red, but it's okay. Oh, it's on the probe thing. Oh, that's even weirder. Okay, that's a bit weird. So yeah, there he is. Okay, so um, usually what you can do is you can uh, claim it and send somebody over. But like I said, I don't think we can here because of the 
there's certain circumstance here. So what we're gonna do is instead, we're just gonna bail out and do it ourselves. Um, use the spacesuit. We should be able to take it for ourselves here. Hopefully we don't. Oh crap. Gladius. Docking not possible. Okay, so there's something we have to fix on here, I think. You have to find something broken, I think, on it, and then you can repair it and take it. Let's see if we can do this. Docking not possible. I mean, maybe we have to marine board it. Maybe you can actually take it like this. Usually on a dead ship like this, there's a way to kind of board it through yourself and you, you fix a hatch or something. And then you can get in. It's an abandoned ship. But this one doesn't seem to actually have that option. So I might be wrong. Yeah, unfortunately, I think I might be wrong on this one. That's too bad. I really wanted the ship. So if I had marines, then maybe I could send them in. But yeah, so for some reason, I don't see that option here. So um, I, I've seen it in uh, anyways uh, before. Like, uh, you know, there, there'd be something broken on the ship and you'd repair it yourself. Unless you're supposed to do this. Oh, I never thought of that. Let's do shift two. To be honest, it's been so long, so... Did I hear something? I'm not sure. Definitely a dangerous way of doing this. At least they're not bugging me yet. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to say there probably is no way to do this, unfortunately. Not today, anyways. Okay. I guess you have to actually board this one. So this is not really like the same kind of abandoned ship that you'd sometimes get, but rather you need to send Marines on it to get it. So uh, I'm guessing that's why... Okay. It's not working, so let's let's go Docking back to our own right ship now. So that that's an interesting thing. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure quite on that one. I, I'm guessing it's it's not really abandoned, even though it looks abandoned. Hello there. Let's get this out of the way here. So let's click on it and see Gladius. what's going on here. Yeah, Gladius. No crew or anything. It's a bit weird. Let's can we scan this? There's a way to scan it, but I think you need, might need something for that. There was an off scan option as well. How was that scan option? Oops. That was serious enough to stop me. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. Okay, give me a second. I'll look up something. Oh. This is Commander Lee of the Terran Intervention Corps. It appears your little experiment has failed, Delilah. We'll <laughs> take over from here. Long may the sun shine. That pompous. He can go where the sun doesn't shine. All squadrons, recruits, defenders of Saul, show intervention what we are capable of and eliminate those Xenon Strag. Congratulations, squads. You handle yourselves <laughs> Admirably. I love that. Even it's like congratulations. Considerably more than you initially signed up for. I'll be okay. contacting you individually to discuss our next steps once the dust has settled. Until then, you will want to take some time off. Consider this an order. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we can go back to normal here. So let's go. Wait, why can't I give? I'll oh, start guidance. There you go. I was weird on the one item, but maybe I wasn't clicking it right. Except for you, recruit. Uh oh. I'm adding you to the admission list to Maya headquarters. We have a few things to talk about. That sounds dirty. 
Yeah, I'm, I am sorry that I wasn't able to clean that. I guess the only way I probably could do that was a marine, though. I'm pretty sure you usually can repair and fix something and take it, but obviously that doesn't seem to be an option, or at least I couldn't find it as an option there, so... Uh, not a big deal. Um, it would have been fun to try that. Maybe I'll even go and try to get a marine and, you know, kind of go back to it in a sense and do something about it. It might not be there anymore after, though. That's the only downside, so we might take it, but... We're just gonna go ahead. So they're fighting there. The ships are coming in here. They're stopping Container. some of them, and... So might as well get some free, uh, loot here. Container. Get off my radar. Okay, so you know what? I might go ahead since we're here anyways. Uh, it might be a good opportunity to yeah. So there's a so he was on there. It was kind of confusing, but let's go ahead and drop a uh, satellite here. We can keep an eye on the system. But uh, Marcus Hostel, no. Yeah, the only thing I could think of is normally you would just go ahead and uh, you can do the claim where you send a marine over, but that's if you have marines on board of your ship. And, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure normally when you make them bail, you can just run into their ship and go and take it yourself, so. Container. Um, something's different anyways, so. It's all good. Let's go ahead and take this here. Excellent. So, yeah, this is cool. This is good loot. I'm going to go around here and loot this a bit more, and then I'll head back, and maybe I'll actually go and get ourselves a marine or whatever, and then we can come back, but we'll see what we have and if it even exists by the time we get back. Okay, so let's go to the upgrade of the ship here, and let's see what we can do here. Crew, and then we're going to get rid of a crew. Well, maybe the apprentice would be better. And then, uh, do you get paid for getting rid of it? Probably not. Uh, and then we're going to go for a marine instead. And there you go. Wait. Was it like an equal? I feel like this is illegal. Is it like slave trading? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go back there now with the marine and attempt to claim that ship. If possible. It might not even be there anymore. That's why we dropped the satellite. It is still there. So I'm going to start my guidance there. And we're going to head there. And uh, we'll be back again. And see if we can claim it with the marine now. Okay. So we got back here. So we'll see if we can capture the ship now with the uh, marine on board. I'm hoping we can. Because, I mean, it would be kind of badass to capture it. But it is interesting that uh, we had that problem, to be fair. But here we go. So... We're going to go ahead. Hopefully we don't get shot. Oh, look at that. That guy has an awesome little beam on his little thing. That was just to stop me. Okay, so let's go ahead and we should be able to claim it now. So basically what happens is the Marine leaves your ship and then he's in like a little bit of a pod kind of thing. And yet, there you go. And he will go into that ship and basically capture it. So if there was actually people on board, you'd have to have like a squad of Marines. Like I'm talking about dozens of Marines going on there. They fight and take control, blah, blah, blah. In this case, that's not the... Ooh, it takes damage, I guess, when that happens. I think that's actually a normal uh, thing that happens. Um, that it can take a bit of damage. But uh, there you go. So we own the Gladys now, um, which is pretty cool. Actually, it's a pretty decent ship, if I recall, too. So uh, I don't know, like, what its value is, say, to some other ships, but I'm pretty sure it is actually valued a pretty high. Uh, pretty oh, sure great. it's. Be I'm pretty sure it's better Hello than there. my ship in. In how good it is. So let's go over there and check it out. Is that the best you've got? So now, normally you'd probably go and dock somewhere and get this done, but whatever. Actually, no. This would be a good opportunity for us to go to. Um, I don't know why I turned that on. Let's put my mouse mode on. I'm going to repair our ship, actually, here. There we go. I'm going to repair this one. Okay. So you can actually repair your own ship. It takes a little longer, obviously, because uh, this hand laser isn't really meant for, per se, repairing ships. You can do them, but it does take time, obviously. Thankfully, there's enough uh, NPCs guarding this whole area that we're not really too... Uh, too much of uh, 
a threat to them right now anyway. So there you go. And then our new ship over here, which is obviously damaged as well, we can go ahead and uh, repair it. Now, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a better ship. <laughs> so I might take this as my main ship. It might not have good uh, loadout right now, but I'm thinking in the end it probably would. So, yeah, it has um, yeah, quite a lot of damage there. So let's just keep repairing that. So many ships flying by. It's like, oh god, don't don't come for me. We're good so far. So there we go. Almost repaired. Now you could repair this at a station, but early game, especially with a, a, a pretty small wallet, Docking it's right actually there. kind of expensive to repair. Well, there's my bear. So there we go. We got our own little fleet going already. There we go. Oh wow, this one has a nicer. Uh, wow, this this one is much larger inside. Look at this. Oh Hello. wow, this is such a cool looking uh, interior. Okay, yeah, this is much cooler ship. Okay, so uh, let's see what the cockpit looks like in this thing. Oh yeah, that's a very distracting cockpit. So only well, has two turrets though. Um, so now what we can do is we can literally say okay. Um, you know, take your ships here. You can say, okay, this is my other one here. So I'm going to just say, hey, go back to here. So I'll tell it to go and dock here at the equipment dock. And then obviously I can go ahead and set myself there too. So set guidance there. And I can head there as well. Um, that being said, this is harder to control. I think this might be a heavy fighter, possibly. I'll have to see what the loadout and you know what the the stats and everything say, but uh, I think it'll it might not be as uh, exciting as I was hoping. But uh, still, I can even use it for a scouting ship. You know, send it out on um, place satellites, things like that. So we'll play around with that. So what does it have on? It has nothing to deploy. No military, no civilian. Uh, it has just two weapons on it. So if we go to ship information, you can look at uh, different things. So here's the loadout here. So it has that equipment on there. I don't know if it tells you what other slots it has, if you don't use them or... It has the pulse laser, yeah, two of two. So maybe maybe that is all it has, I don't know. Countermeasures, flares. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see when we get to the... Actually, we, you know what, we, we don't even need to worry about that. Um, we can just go like this to the shipyard. We'll just buy a ship. We're not going to buy it, but we'll just check here. So small. Okay, so this is our ship here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is our ship. And then this is the... And that's worth 340. Wow, that's actually... Okay, oh, the Gladys is a heavy fighter. Okay, so there you go. It's a little more expensive, and it's considered heavy fighter. Okay. And it's probably going to be slower in every way possible too, right? So... Uh, if we go ahead and put the all-rounder ones here on there, what is our speed? 154. Okay, yeah, so much, much small, uh, slower ship. Okay, so it is a heavy fighter. What's the turrets look like? Oh, it has four turrets you can put on there, so we're missing turrets. So that's this is where this thing shines, obviously, is the extra turrets on there. I'm guessing the hull is better on it, too. Um, so your hull is 37. Actually, not like crazy. A decent amount, but not like insane amount. Uh, by the way, radar is actually affected also by the ships you use, I, I believe. So some ships will have higher radars where others won't. Um, I'm not sure if scouts would or if it's just larger ships. It might just be purely larger ships on that. These all have the same. Maybe they don't on these. I was almost certain that was a feature. I mean, maybe it is on certain ones just like as a specialty. Um, so what about shielding here? So this is your best shield here. So 14, 24, and then the heavy one, if you put shielding on here, 14. Yeah, so, yeah, it's it's more about those extra guns on it, basically. More oomph, but because of how slow we are already, I don't know if I would want to use, I don't think I'd use that as my main ship. Though I do like the loadout, it's, pro, you know, it's all even, and, you know, that's what I do like in my ships, but still. Did we actually miss the gate? Yeah, apparently we did. My aiming wasn't perfect. My other guy is probably already... Yeah, he, he's getting there faster. Well, obviously he travels faster too, so... And the AI has improved quite a bit Entering over time, system. so... Sol. Back in the day it wasn't so uh, Jupiter. good, but now it's pretty good. Yeah, so he's almost docked there. 
So when we need docks, I'll go ahead and take over. And then, uh, yeah, so it's cool anyways we have that. So what's this one here? Destroy eight ships matching. Yeah, I don't usually do those ones. Usually you can get in trouble. Oh, this is Faction Xenon, so this is not a big deal. If it doesn't have a time left on it, I guess that's not a big deal. Yeah, so I guess we can accept that. I knew I could count on you. So this is like a background mission, so you don't you don't actually focus on that one. You just literally leave it there, and you, you have it over time, right? So let's go over here and mark this again so I can see it. Entering Jupiter. There we have it. Okay. So we'll head over there. So let's look at that mission anyway. So let's open the map here. So mission manager, so there you go. So there's no time on it, which means you can do it as long as you want, which is great. So blah, blah, blah. Okay, so respond, beat them, blah, blah, blah. Looking for help anywhere, fight, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it doesn't actually say which ship. It just says faction Xenon. Oh, it says any ship. So basically it's an open contract. So when we are at that gate, you know, collecting loot, whatever, if I kill the Xenon over time, that's that's easy pickings, honestly, so. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh yeah, this this is a little slower, but we're we're getting there. The last time I was around here, they actually I got like they got upset at me because I had uh, illegal cargo on me and they got pissed off. <laughs> I just kinda ran off, I was like, eh, too bad. The funny thing is I didn't hear the dialogue pop up originally when they were scanning me, so I wasn't really sure what happened there, but... So what we have to do here is aim this for right inside of there. There we go. That did not work out. Oh, there's no shields on this ship. This is a pretty bare-bones ship if you think about it. Docking granted. There you go. Uh, it means I probably have to manually dock this too. So that's why you want to keep learning and know you're docking. Though I could always let the other guy dock for me, to be fair. But yeah, I guess it wouldn't have even a, a basic docking computer at this point. There you go. Oh, actually, it's pretty good. Maybe it does. Gladius. Wow, that was my marine. Ha! Huh. How fancy is that? Okay. So, uh, yeah, now what you can do here is uh, you can, you know, we're here, but you can click this one and you can just go and uh, I guess you just click it and right click here and uh, upgrade and repair. So let's see what we have here. So it has decent combat engines on it. That's pretty cool. Um, you can always downgrade it, but get some more credits out of it at the same time. Uh, so your speed goes down, everything goes down, and your travel goes up a bit more. Yeah. I almost want to do that just because of the <laughs> being a little cheap, right? The all-rounders. Wow, the combat ones make a huge difference. I guess it's different stats that they use, so huh. I'll leave them alone for now. Here's your shielding. So how much credits I have? Okay, well, might as well get it proper shielding. Wow, what's with the shield delay here? What the? We would like to remind all visitors to visit our special Oh safe my goodness, area it's a double shielded. Oh, it has a really slow recharge delay, but it's double shielded. So that is actually kind of impressive on there. And then your weapons, of course. So uh, if I want the weapons we already have now, I would want like the MK2s, which I like. So this is what I'd have to do for that. So, yeah, this would already cost us 800 plus, almost 900k to, to fit this, which that gets a little expensive. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and reset it. How do you reset it? Is there a way to reset it, or do you just cancel the order? I guess cancel the order and redo it. There might have been a reset, but anyways. So, what I'm thinking is I'll go all-rounder, and then I'm going to put a basic shield in. I mean, I could put the better one in, but uh, oh, that's not too bad. I'll put two of those in there. And then, uh, oh, you do have the docking computer because it did feel like it was grabbing, so it makes sense. You have the trading computer extension? No, okay, there we go. Long range scanner. We'll grab that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll add some satellites in here because you're going to want those over time so you can deploy them. Um, as I get richer, obviously, I'm going to you know tell them to get more. And then let's just let's definitely get a service crew here, more more crewmen now after going with what we did there before maybe it's better to 
Maybe it's just better go Marines. I do like having the... Well, maybe I could do one of each, to be fair. Uh, we'll do that. We would like to remind visitors that dropping litter anywhere other than an approved recycling station carries an automatic 500 credit fine. There you go. There we go. So that'll uh, upgrade that ship. So this will be like our... Uh, you know, whatever. We'll we'll use it for certain uh, situations. Right now, it won't be used for much, but later on, it'll be used for a bit more, um, possibly. Heavy fighters, they're slow. I think this is one of those ones where I might even go for medium because their medium ships tend to be a lot faster, oddly enough. So I think I would probably put more effort in worrying about a medium ship later on. Um, anyways, let's go and uh, see what we can uh, sell here anyways. So, Trader's Corner. Okay, Can so we can go help? over here and uh, show me your there wares. You so, oh yeah, let's see if we Good can craft that. Uh, I don't know if we got enough parts yet, but let's see if we can craft that Sita. There you go, we can craft one now. Sweet, so we can just go here and craft this. Craft the item. Boom, done. So, you can literally hit Shift 4 and the world will just go doo 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 doo. Uh, actually, I think you have to be in a cockpit to do it, unfortunately. Can you do it in your map, maybe? No, I guess you can't do that without being in the cockpit then. I'm not sure what the restriction there is. Okay, what else do we have in here? Do, 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 do. So you can make more security slicers you can make here, which, uh, I mean, honestly, you would you make more money out of that. I think I'm just going to hold on to these for now. I mean, I don't mind making a buck on them, but like like I said, you can make a lot more if you craft can them. I so I think maybe go. it's best just to hold on to them. And uh, use them when it comes to the right time. So the trade goods, you can go ahead and get rid of those. So let's get rid of you guys. And um, we're going to... Oh, yeah, we're going to get rid of the Cedar stuff then. Because now we have them. So we're good with that. We don't have to worry about that. There you go. Good luck out there. Oh, and we have to upgrade our other ship here. We have to get him another marine, right? So. There you go. And now when you do your undocking, you can do the shift D here. And you can actually pick which ship. So, you know, obviously I had renamed these before, but uh, they, they, they. Oh, crane. That's why you start naming them or giving them names to them. So. We can do that again. I'll show you that. So you go to property zone. I can always do, um, you know, I, I guess I should probably put, should I put it in the list of, I'll, I'll keep it on that one because that, that makes some more sense. Small or something. And then the, for this one, I'll, I'll probably do something like, uh, let's see here. So where's the rename here? Not redesign, rename. I'm thinking I'll just do, um, uh, so small, heavy. <laughs> I don't know if that would make sense, or maybe I could just do it like this, small, heavy, I'm thinking. And that way I know what it is, right? Unless if I think that's a scout. <laughs> uh, but I'm thinking classify-wise, you know, it could be small. So now I could take this guy and do different tasks. Like, for example, I can tell him to explore. Now, this exploration, unless it's gotten better or smarter, I always found these useless. Um, so what I usually do is I actually do this. So you hold control and then you, uh, was it right click? Yeah, you right click. And basically, I just do the shape of the zone. And I basically tell him to explore the way I want him to explore instead. So I don't worry about the whole... Uh, the need to, yeah, I don't really worry too much about the need for um, using the built-in exploration. I never found it to work, to be fair. So uh, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I, uh, I don't know. I just find that one to work better. And I do this because I want to explore, obviously, find all the stations, clear up the fog of war eventually. That That to me is kind of fun, right? So... Basically, his sole job right now is just to kind of do his little thing here. There you go. It's not even pretty, to be fair. It's just uh, functional. There you 
go. Hopefully, you don't get in trouble wherever that system was if you get too close to the uh, one gate to the moon or earth or whatever that is. You're not allowed there yet. You have to have 20 rep for that. And if you can't get into the other things, like I think some of the sectors like Venus or whatever, you also can't get into them. And the whole point of that is you have to have um, uh, 10 rep with them. And then you probably have to talk to their faction person or whatever for the upgrade, uh, the promotion or rank or whatever. So. Keep that in mind if you're having trouble getting into some of the areas that might be there. And you can actually just move these around too like this. So it's a pretty cool little feature. But it's a little time consuming what I'm doing. You know, with if it was later on in the game with enough of the guys, I'd probably just go, okay, you just go wherever. Requesting permission to dock. I'm actually not sure why it's not working anymore. Found something out here. Okay, so it already found something. Where, where, What did you find and what is it? Oh, it was a lockbox. Okay. I'll ignore it. You could tell them to try to, con you know, get the lockboxes on their own, but uh, I don't know why I just lost the ability to basically do anything here. Yeah. Oh, here you go. The overlay or something broke apparently at that point. I've never had that happen before. Yeah, basically all the spots that we... There you go. I'm just going to pretend it's there and then just like ignore it at that point because <laughs> it really is supposed to work and then we'll tell it to dock and wait thereafter. Uh, for some reason it kind of broke. I've never had that happen I don't think but uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll let it be. It can, it can be broken. Okay there, my friends. So we'll leave that be. Um, so, yeah, till next time. Um, you guys still coming in here? Yeah, they're coming in somewhat regularly. So I might go there and attempt to... Holy crap. They got the big boys in there, too. Oh, that's an Asgard ship. Oh, I want to check that out. Yeah, we're going to check that out from the next episode. Some good drops are dropping there, too. So I'm going to head out there anyway so I can do that. And then, uh, yeah, we'll... Uh, Hello. We'll come back and uh, we'll continue on working on our, 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 our plots here. Or I, I don't even know if you can call them plots quite yet, You're but uh, some of our missions here. And uh, yeah, keep working on that because I'm enjoying them. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And uh, short range transporter. Some being bad. Let's take them out. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.